Hey everyone, welcome back again. So I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to talk about how to make a voice enabled chatbot using the Python code and OpenAI and Google APIs. So without wasting time, let's start the video. So in the previous video, I had talked about how to make a chatbot, but that chatbot was only a text based. That means the user gives input with the help of keyboard. But now we want that the user will give input by his voice. That means with the help of his microphone, the user will give the input to the bot. And according to that, the chatbot will respond. So first we will go through the code of the text based chatbot. That is I had created in the previous video. So if you want to see that video, then, then I will put the link in the description box. So, so first I will suggest you that uh, you watch that video first and after that come to th this video. Okay. So now we understand the code of the text chatbot. So first we had uh, imported the OpenAI package. And after that we had a OpenAI API key, which you can get on the OpenAI API website. Okay. So for that, you have to create an account on OpenAI API and there you can find the API key. Okay. Then coming to the main part of the code, first the chatbot will greet the user with hi user, how may I help you? After that, we are inside a loop and user will input the prompt. Okay. And if the user input is exit, then it will break out of the loop and our program will get ended else we will get a response by the help of get response function and after that we will print the response and what does this get response function is doing so this is doing nothing but whatever we give the input so it will it take our input as a prompt and with the help of text devancy 003 model it will create response and we had return the response to this response variable okay and after that we had printed this response so so let's run this code again so for that write python and chatbot dot py and here the chatbot is greeted hi user how may i help you and i will ask the same question what is two plus two and it is responding 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. What is the capital of USA? And it is responding Washington DC is the capital of United States of America. So our chatbot is responding very perfectly. So let's try to understand what are the different approaches in the text based chatbot and voice based chatbot. So in the text based chatbot, so in the text chatbot, the user gives his input by, with the help of keyboard. So user is giving input with the help of keyboard and this input is passed to the OpenAI model. So this is passed to the OpenAI model and the OpenAI model generate the response and we had printed that. So this was the simple approach we, we are using in the text based chatbot. So for the voice based chatbot, so in the voice chatbot, user will now give the input with the help of his microphone. So with the help of his microphone, the user will give input and somehow the open AI will get response as a text. But what we will do in the middle part. So whatever we give input from our microphone, it will pass to the Google API. That means it will pass to some Google or Alexa or Azure or IBM text to or IBM a speech to text API. So here some API will come into the play and this will convert our voice into text. So this will convert our voice into text and this text we will pass to the OpenAI model. And similarly, as in the previous, this will create the response. So this is the one extra layer we are going to add in our 
voice based chatbot model so now let's move to the coding part so first we will see how to convert our voice to text so for that you need to install these two package into your machine so first one is a speech recognition wide up and second one is py audio you can learn more about these packages on their official documentation page so you can see that so it supports some offline and many online APIs. So here you can see some famous APIs like Google Cloud, a Speech API, Microsoft Azure, and OpenAI Whisper, and many more. As most of has uh, our Android phone, and in that phone we have used the Google Cloud a Speech API. So we will also using that API into our code. So now let's see the code for converting our voice to text. In the coding part, first we will import the a speech recognition, then we will start the a speech recognition engine so to start the speech recognition engine you have to write sr dot recognizer and this is not of our use and after that in the line 4 we have used our microphone edge source so we are opening our microphone edge with sr dot microphone edge source and after that i had printed a line that means now your microphone is listening and we will record audio for the 5 second okay so we are recording the audio for 5 second and after that we have passed our audio data into google recognize model and in the last we had printed the text so let's run this code for that we have to end the previous program and if we run this code python a speech to text dot py then if i hit enter what is 2 plus 2 and you can see that i had said what is 2 plus 2 it, it is listen and it has it is recognized perfectly as what is 2 plus 2 let's try it again What is the capital of United States of America? So you can see that it is perfectly recognizing our voice. So this is generating the text of what is the capital of United States of America. So now you have learned how to convert our voice to text. So now we will implement this method into our chatbot code. So in the previous code, we were getting user input from the keyboard. But now we want a voice input. So get voice input. We will make a function of get voice input. And in somewhere in the code, we will define this get voice input. Okay. And it will return the text. And we will get text from this code. So for that, you have to copy this all. And paste it here okay and make identification error gone so i have so i have placed the tab buttons to make correct identification and i will import this here so now in the get voice input function it is starting the a speech recognition engine and with the help of microphone we are passing our voice to the google recognize model and it is converting our voice to text so at last we are returning the text so now if we run this code again so for that we have to write python check what dot py and here what is 2 plus 2 all right so our code was listen what is 2 plus 2 and it has generated the response 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 but it again start listening this is because we have implemented our code inside this loop. So if you don't want to listen it again and again and again, so you can implement some other methods. That means if you place some button one or two, then after that, it will get some voice input. Here you have to implement some only basic if or else conditions. So for now, to demonstrate this code, we are going to remove this loop. So we have to remove this loop and we have now the identification error. To fix this identification error, I have to press shift plus tab. And 
all errors now should gone okay so here we will not use this one also because we are not inside the loop so we will not use any break statement so comment this one and here our user is getting input from get voice input function and get voice input function is simply returning the text of our voice and after that we have passed our input to the get response function and, and get response function is doing nothing but it is passing our input as a prompt to the chat gpt or open ai model and at last we had printed our response so now let's run the code again and this time we will ask what is the capital of america okay what is the capital of america and it has recognized our voice and converted that voice to text and pass that text to the chat gpt model and the chat gpt model is giving response as washington dc is the capital of united states of america so let's run it again and ask some interesting question who is the ceo of twitter so it is recognizing again so it is generating response that ceo of twitter is jack rossi but so if you search on google you can see that so this person is now the ceo of twitter so now we are getting the wrong response why because the chat gpt model is trained on the data before 2021 so that's why it has only the data before of 2021 so it will search from those data and generate the response so i hope you have understood the implementation part of making a chatbot so in the first chatbot we were taking input from the keyboard and in the second chatbot we were giving input as our voice so we make this implementation with the use of OpenAI API and a speech recognition API and inside the speech recognition model we have used the recognize Google model and in the OpenAI API we have used the text Devanki model. So these were the two important models in our code and I hope you have understood all the implementation parts of this code. So there is a small assignment for you in this code we are generating our response as a text but you have to convert this response into voice that means you have given input as a voice and computer will response back also as a voice so you have to implement this functionality that get response from chatbot as voice so this is your assignment so if you complete this assignment then put your code into the comment box so other users can get benefit from this and if you have really liked this video then like this video and share with other people and don't forget to subscribe the channel for now that's all from this video we will meet in the next video with some interesting topics for now take care bye bye